Hi everybody, this is Charlotte and today in this video I will be showing you how I paint my nails. At the moment I have some gel polish on which I will be removing and I will also be showing you um, some products that I received in the mail that I bought online. I um, have seen a couple of um, ASM artists use a company called Madame Glam and I thought that I would check them out. So just after Christmas I went onto their website and I saw that they did a gel polish starter kit. So this was really, really amazing for me because I always, always get a gel polish and I normally go into the salon to have this done or my friend does it for me. I usually get a manicure, a gel polish manicure, every three to four weeks and that gets quite expensive sometimes. <laughs> so when I went on to the Madame Glam website and I saw that they had a half price January sale for a, a gel polish kit, I thought I must get it because they have a whole variety of different colours and I'm always looking for ways to save money <laughs> so I bought it and I'd like to show it to you so this is the package that I received and it is the Fabulous Gel Polish Kit show you the contents of it. After some tapping of course. So if we open the box up, inside there's quite a few items. So I chose three polishes with my kit and I also chose two more because that meant I got free shipping. So it comes with these little foils which you soak your old polish on. It comes with a UV um, LED lamp. Oh no, it's a UV lamp. Which is like a telephone, <laughs> in my opinion. <laughs> a little pamphlet. A power adapter for the UV lamp. It also comes with a little nail file and I will show you the polishes that I chose so 
so the first um, polish that I chose was the um, Soak Off Base Gel uh, which is the base for the polish and then the next one I chose was the Soak Off No Wipe Top Gel which this one um, when you have a gel polish, normally um, the tacky layer of the top coat you have to um, wipe off with a lint-free um, cotton pad but this one you don't have to and then the three colours that I chose were the first one was a chameleon um, colour change nail polish in the colour um, Love Me Crazy which is like a two-tone pink and this changes colour depending on heat so if your hands are cold it's one colour and if your hands are hot then it's another colour so I was really um, fascinated by these and then the next um, one that I chose was this lovely deep um, red burgundy colour and it's called a deep burgundy and I really like it because I love red nail polish I think they're very classy and quite seductive <laughs> um, and quite glamorous as well so this is the colour that I chose one of and then the last colour I chose was this dusty rose colour and it's called vintage pink and I love this colour so much in everything I have a lot of makeup which is this colour and I really really love the soft pastel pink of this I think it's very flattering and also very glamorous too so we have the um, UV lamp with the power adapter, the foil gels, our wraps, we have the buffing block instruction manual. I've been really, really excited to try this out. It's the first time that I've ever got a gel polish kit myself. So um, I hope that I can remember all the different steps that you have to do. I went to my um, uh, beauty salon um, wholesaler the other day and I bought the bits and pieces that you need to go with this. So I will just say now, I'm sorry if I do it all wrong. I'm just, this is my first time and I'm just trying to remember what my, um, my nail technician does normally at our um, nail sessions. So I do apologize if I do a couple of steps wrong or my technique isn't that great. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we will need to do is to remove the old gel polish. Now, this gel polish that I have on has lasted, oh my goodness, I would say about eight weeks. It is really, really long lasting. <laughs> got it done before Christmas and it's this nice red glittery but as you can see it's starting to wear off so I'm going to take the um, little file that was supplied in the pack and I'm going to buff the top layer of the nail polish off ready for soaking in the acetone so I'm just going to 
use this rougher side I'm just going to buff off the top layer making sure not to um, buff off the growth layer has been buffed off and the shine. So that's the um, the shine buffed off and I'm going to get um, my some nail sterilizer and just wipe off that dust. I'm going to use a lint free nail wipe Come with this nice bag. I'm going to spray that Get it all over my <laughs> desk here But that's okay because um, This is actually um, I've got it on my <laughs> table here But that's okay because this is actually um, wrapping paper she use wrapping paper to cover my surfaces because it's not it's very cheap and you can get it in all different colors and it makes it look nice so I've just gotten rid of the dust there just wipe my hands a little bit I'm going to take my little nail foils and I'm going to soak the middle bit in acetone and this is pure acetone so I know that it's not very good for your nails but it's the only way to get off gel polish So I'm going to get out ten. So going to be using this wooden orange stick but we're going to use that after we've soaked our nails okay. so I'm going to soak each of these little cotton buds in the acetone so now I'm going to wrap each one around my nail, just like that, making sure it's very tightly placed around the nail.
that. Okay, so I've just removed the little foils from my nails and now we're going to use the orange stick to just gently lift away the polish from the nail. It might be that I need to go back and soak the nails again, but we'll just get off the worst of the polish. This is actually very therapeutic. <laughs> so, I have now removed my gel polish from my nails. So the next thing that we need to do is to push back the cuticles and to just gently buff the nails. You can also see that I now have a nice green fluffy towel down and to me it looks like cuticle pusher to just gently push back my cuticles. Okay, so my cuticles are pushed back and now I'm just going to use this buffing block to just buff the nails, just to remove any debris from the nails, any leftover polish. lint-free wipe and some nail sterilizer and just wipe off any of the excess dust. Now, I don't have the nicest hands in the world. They are definitely working hands and they spend a lot of time out in the cold and the, you know, wet and windy, so they get quite dry and chapped a lot of the time, and I have quite pudgy hands, <laughs> so they never, they never look very elegant. That's why I always try and get a manicure, to make them look more feminine. Okay, so now for the polish. I will be using um, the base gel first and I will just be applying that to my nails and then curing it in the lamp for two minutes. So, I'm quite nervous because I've never used gel polish before. So 
less is more, I think. That's what the general principle is. So let's start just by applying that onto the nail. Get in the best position. I'm sorry I'm not talking so much, it's just because I'm quite nervous doing this. So I'm just going to do my first four fingers and then put those under the lamp for two minutes. setting that I have it on is for a minute, so we'll need to do this twice to cure it for the full um, two minutes. So I really like how this blue and green the four fingers cured. And now I'm just going to do my thumb. I'm going to cure that in the easier for me to cure my thumb at the end of the table. Um, it's less of an awkward angle. So, um, I think the base coat is quite nice. It has a nice texture to it. But, like I say, I've never used gel polish before at home, so I can't compare it to anything. And another two minutes.
So, that's the base coat done. Now instead of doing the other hand and showing you the base coat of that, I'm actually going to jump right in and start with the nail polish colour. Otherwise this video would be hours and hours long. So I'm going to do the same again and apply a very thin coat to the four nails, the four fingers. Will you even see this okay? on my skin, so let's just remove that. very hard to gauge how much you need. I'm obviously using the vintage Two coats coming up around here, there. You don't want to get any of the gel polish on your skin. Cure those four fingers first, and then we'll do the thumb in a minute. So, I have a um, photo shoot coming up, and it's for um, bridal photography. So, this is the part of the reason why I'm painting my nails today in preparation for the shoot. Um, the colour themes are quite vintage, soft pastel colours. So I thought this would be quite a fitting colour. Hopefully I get to bring my camera along to the shoot behind the scenes for you, so you can see what I get up to when I go modelling. So, today has been very interesting for me, I'm filming at home, and took forever trying to set up this shot, even though it was, you know, a fairly simple shot, but I'm quite a perfectionist, so everything has to be perfect. And I hope that it looks okay.
this lamp it's so funky and it looks like a little telephone so there are the nails that have been cured we will be doing another coat in a minute Do the thumbs. Okay, so that is the first coat done. We'll just move that out the way. And now I'm going to apply a second coat to make the colour more vibrant. though I'm terrible <laughs> at applying nail polish, this formula is fairly easy to use. Which is good for people like me who don't have a very steady hand. And it kind of self-levels. Nice and smooth. So, last time in the light, and then we'll apply the top coat, the nice shiny top coat. So, I just wanted to say a big thank you. My channel has been getting a lot of positive attention from certain media sources um, such as The Guardian and um, a couple of radio stations and um, TV shows have actually asked me to come and do a, um, an interview with them. great um, because the more that ASMR is out there and more people understand it and they know about it the more that our community develops and grows so I feel very honoured to be a part of that um, and I just want to thank everybody for supporting my channel and leaving me comments and you know sending me messages it really really means a lot to me and it it really helps me because um, it is kind of stressful doing these videos sometimes because there's a certain you know anxiety I guess <laughs> because I want to make great content for you and I want it to be perfect and I want it to be stuff that you guys enjoy so and I, I want to make sure that I keep uploading content for you and there's not a gap in between but I hope that it's 
sometimes when I can't upload a video or I can't record for any reason, then it will be okay. <laughs> but I sometimes struggle a little bit because at the moment I'm still working full time as well as trying to pursue my um, career in the film industry as a film producer. So I have a lot that's going on at the moment, but I dedicate every Sunday to making videos and I try and do as much as I can. Sometimes my neighbours can be very loud and sometimes other things happen which cause me not to be able to film as much as I would want. So, you know, every time you click the ad or you let the ad at the beginning of the video run, that helps um, me to take time off work because the money that I make from AdSense helps me to fund the films, the ASMR films that I make. So, yeah. So there is the colour of the nails and I really, really, really love it. It's like this um, lovely dusty rose vintage pink mauve kind of colour and I am so happy with the um, the coverage and I'm so happy with the shine it's so super shiny but we will finish it off with the soak off no wipe top gel and I chose this one Specifically because you don't have to wipe it afterwards to get rid of the tacky layer. was saying. I just want to thank you guys so much for being so patient with me and, you know, being there for me. And I'm very happy that I could help you guys out in some small way through the content that I made. Um, sometimes I know that for instance, this video might not be appealing to many people because, um, you know, it's nails and not many, you know, not many people appreciate nails. But I like to make sure that I do um, videos on my channel which I like <laughs> myself uh, because it helps to keep my creativity going and it helps me to enjoy what I do. Um, I, I always get very tongue-tied when I'm doing a video. I never knew, know really what to say. I just... I just want to say thank you to everyone. One of my friends on Facebook shared something with me that I had shared three years ago. And this was when I reached 300 subscribers on my channel. And at the time, I was so thrilled about that. <laughs> because 300 was 200 away from my personal milestone of 500.
shared it with me and he said, three years ago you were at 300 subscribers and now you're at 15,000 subscribers. <laughs> and it really put into perspective, you know, the journey that I had been on. And even though the many ASM artists who are in the same posi position as me, you know, their channels are three years old, they're on a hundred thousand plus subscribers. And at first I got a little bit down about this because I kind of hoped that after three years my channel would be at that. But if I think about it, I've only really been back properly for the last year. So 15,000 in just over a year is brilliant. And I want to thank you guys for that. Okay, so that is the finished nail. With the top coat and the polish. And I am thrilled. I'm really, really happy with the results. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to finish off with some cuticle oil and I'm going to paint um, the other hand. Well, I'm going to paint the other hand first off camera and then I'll apply some cuticle oil right at the end and do a nice hand massage for you. So I'll be right back. Okay, so that is the manicure finished and I must say that I am really, really happy with the result. Obviously, I'm not a professional nail technician and I mucked up a little bit <laughs> on my less dominant hand. But I think that they turned out really nice and they'll be nice and long lasting. So, what I'm going to do now is to just apply some cuticle oil just to nourish the cuticles where they've been dried out. acetone and just to replenish any moisture that's been lost. I'm just using CND, CND, the cuticle oil. I'm going to apply that around the cuticles to both hands. I'm just going to rub that in. So next I'm going to be applying some hand lotion and the one I'm using is the Neos Yard Ginger and Vanilla Body Lotion. So I'm just going to remove my ring so it doesn't catch. I'm just going to apply a generous amount to the back of my hand.
Okay, so I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Take care guys.